show YouTube as you can see it's raining it's flooded right here as you can see and I'm going to go show you what our TV is doing so let me pause for a sec hi YouTube this is Dr. Sole again so right now we're putting in 47 watts let me see 53 now into the batteries uh, this morning I changed the wires I changed this one, I changed this one and then we have an interconnect I changed that as well let me show you what we had before and I don't know why my people think it's acceptable to do that so this this piece of wire here was replaced this one here is our negative cable and here is the new negative cable here is the positive cable here is the old, here is the new positive cable. So the cables now are the same thickness and the one that connects my shunt to my uh, to my bus bar is thicker than this one. Hopefully that will help me resolve some of the performance issues that I'm seeing where this side is not charging as well as this side and this side is charging faster than this side so you see differences of up to 0 0.08 volts between here and here it's higher here and lower here and the only thing I could think of was the the battery cables were much thinner on the ne on negative side so now I've changed and everything is the same size and the same distance so let's look at and see what our performance is so far uh, right now we're putting 1.2 amps from this one. I'm sure we're doing much more from this because this has uh, 2 kilowatts on it while this only has 600 watts. And then our one of the things I not very I'm not a very good um, proponent of these MPPT uh, charge controllers I find inside the inverters. They don't seem to perform as well as the standalone units. Well this particular manufacturer is not performing as well so as you can see oh there is no ac no ac because i'm off grid like i said uh, output is 229 pv is showing 77 volts zero amps and one watt 16 now it's 16 so this has um sorry this has 600 that has 900 i'm sorry and out of the 600 you're only seeing 16 and out of this 900 you're seeing 174 coming in 184 coming in and it's putting in 53 watts or one amp okay so once again this is dr solar um, i'm going to keep making changes and i'll keep you updated as to the progress with my new battery uh, balances um, as you can see it's still red because this is lower than that I unplugged one of these and the red light changed so it's pulling it from the higher ones and trying to put it into this low one I was expecting that these things will have higher uh, will have higher currents to charge on this charge it's only one amp so it's not a lot I have these batteries here in parallel as you can see so I have one amp to this one here and one amp to this one here so this module here has two amps on it which is a lot in my opinion but this thing is slow as molasses well I'll keep you posted once again this is Dr. Sola coming to you from a very rainy Nigeria very rainy Lagos Nigeria and I'm hoping that at some point today the Sun will come out and my batteries will go higher than 51.5 volts thank you for watching